During a campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, former President Donald Trump narrowly escaped an assassination attempt. The suspected gunman, Thomas Matthew Crooks, fired multiple shots from a rooftop over 130 yards away. One bullet grazed Trump's ear, and Crooks was swiftly neutralized by Secret Service snipers. Authorities, including the FBI and Pennsylvania State Police, are investigating whether Crooks acted alone or if there was a second shooter. Pennsylvania State Police Latine Colaire George Bevins stated, We have one shooter tentatively identified, but our investigation continues. We're following numerous leads, and it will take some time before we can conclusively determine if there was only one gunman. Crooks, 20, positioned himself on the roof of a manufacturing plant and fired at Trump during the outdoor rally at the Butler Farm Show grounds. An AR-style rifle was recovered at the scene. The motive behind Crooks' actions remains unclear, adding to the tension and urgency of the ongoing investigation. Pennsylvania voter records show that a Thomas Matthew Crooks, with the same address and birth date, is registered as a Republican. However, the records do not specify when this registration occurred. Despite the chaos, Trump defiantly turned to the crowd, raising his fist in a powerful image of resilience. Later, Trump posted on Truth Social, I was shot with a bullet that pierced the upper part of my right ear, describing the moment he heard the whizzing sound and felt the searing pain as the bullet tore through his skin. Questions have arisen regarding the security measures in place at the rally. Despite being a former president and a presumptive GOP nominee, Trump's Secret Service detail is significantly smaller compared to that of sitting presidents. Several reports claimed Trump's campaign had requested additional security, but these requests were not fully met, leaving potential vulnerabilities. The open-air venue at the Butler Farm Show grounds provided an almost unobstructed line of sight for the shooter, raising concerns about how such a breach of security could occur. House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer announced an investigation into the incident, calling for a thorough review of the Secret Service's protocols and response. As the investigation continues, authorities are working to uncover the motive behind the assassination attempt and to determine if Crooks acted alone or if there was a second shooter involved. The incident has raised serious questions about security protocols and the potential vulnerabilities at high-profile events.